Hello everyone, my name is Angel Pyrella Productions and welcome back to another video. This time being a tutorial video on how to use a Hilda AI voice model plus other voice models. After the reception of my Hilda AI cover from the engine roll call, some of you had asked me how the hell did I even do that? Did I made it myself? Or was it made with magic? No. The answer is no. The AI model was made by Dre GGTV, and he uploaded it on his own Discord server when I was watching some of his reels where he showcased it on his Instagram. And that got me a lot of curiosity to try it out. At first, I didn't know really well how to exactly use it, since the Google Doc file where he uploaded it with the Hilda voice contained a whole lot of information and steps to follow, and that actually got me quite a bit confused. But what I also did not notice was that he gave a link to a site where I could actually use the model and install a lot of files and stuff. And that site is kits.ai. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download it, how to insert it, and how to use it properly. So let's get into it. First of all, you need to join the AI Hub server, which is where the AI models are. Link in the description to join. Once you've done that, scroll down and you'll see a chat named Voice Models. Click there and it'll appear you a whole bunch of voice models. Whether it's from a cartoon, anime, a famous actor or artist, etc. Then click on the search bar and search Hilda. And there, It'll appear you some of the current models Ray uploaded it. For example, we're gonna download the Hilda AI voice. I don't need to do that since I've already got her voice model. And once you've downloaded the AI model, extract it, and you'll see it'll give you a type of file, PyTorch. Which, fun fact, that is a type of file from the Python dictionary. Yes, I had to look on an article instead of Wikipedia. Shut up. And that is the first step. On to step 2. Once you've already got the Python file, Google kits.ai. And this is the first thing it'll show you. Sign up if you don't have an account. And here is what things are becoming a lot more interesting. Go to create a voice and select training. Click on upload a voice model. And it'll let us show you to insert the name of the model and the Python file. Drag it or search it from your local desktop and there you go. Now if you scroll down it will also tell you as an option to add an image to your model. It doesn't matter if you want to add it or don't want to add it, the model won't disappear. And there you go. Happy with how it's turning out, right? Well, then let's get into the last step. So, you have two options before you download your voice model to MP3. One, you can record it with your own voice, selecting what character would you like to say. But, if you are a dude who wants to select a female character, then you must click here and set the pitch to 12. Otherwise, the model won't sound very good. And two, you can drop a vocal song file with only a maximum of 25 megabytes. However, you must choose a song in which it must have only one voice. Otherwise, the model will sound kind of weird. For example, I used a song in which not many people won't recognize it, and it's called A Lady by Teleco. And this is the result from what it'll look like.
And there you have it. You can now have fun using it for your own projects and other shenanigans. Now, where can I find more of these watches aside from the Hilda ones? Well, like I'll explain on step 1, you can find more voices by searching on the search bar from the AI Hub server. I have some more voices that I downloaded this past couple of days. For example, Markiplier, Jeremy Clarkson, CG5, Lux Marcella, Amity Blight, Hunter, Twilight Sparkle, and Thomas. The, the, the Edigland one. Other voice models are still in progress to be made, so be sure to keep an eye for that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, it's the whole tutorial video. I hope this video has helped you to use these voice models for your own videos. And remember that all of this that I explained before is only available on a computer or a laptop. If you're going to use these models on your tablet or mobile phone, then I'm sorry but the files will be very heavy if you're downloading on your small devices. But for those of you who do use a computer or laptop, then good luck with it. And if you want me to make more different tutorials like this one, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool stuff. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!